I have to admit, I'm a hard working person. Good afternoon, guys. We're out here to Blue Creek, Uncle Rick and I. We came out here to do a little uh, crop scouting to see what was crusted under from the rain. And then we brought a motor out to start getting set up so they can start hauling uh, grain out of this bin. Figure out what we need for wiring and belts and everything. Right now, Uncle Rick is in the back of the old two-ton washing it out getting the last fertilizer out of it so it doesn't rust the bed out and whatnot but, yeah so we're just out here having a nice quiet day but, let's see if we can get the tailgate open so you can see what he's doing in there Nope, she don't want to open. <laughs> you done? I think turn so. that up. No, turn her on. Oh, I thought you said turn her off. Oh. You want a full blaster? Yeah. All right. Ooh. That came off pretty good. Yeah, that's good one. We get a couple of loads of corn through it, it'll polish it up good. Yeah. Where's the broom at? It was inside the pump. Okay. Oh. Watch out for black widows. Ooh. that locked in place I don't want to fly and open on the freeway yeah. all right guys we got her all cleaned out uncle Rick's gonna stay out here he's gonna fuel up the 83 go do a little disking we're gonna take old green here into town I'll do a little time lapse while I'm going down the freeway. See how that looks. All the semis and everything, they go blowing by me. I'm only doing 30 mile an hour and they're doing 70, 80. So 
maybe we'll do that. Maybe I'll set up a time lapse in the front of the truck and you guys can watch the ride in. drivers that actually slid over for me and didn't try and run me off the road like some of them jerks in their little cars but we're gonna go get some lunch now I'm gonna go pick Marcy up and we're gonna go grab some lunch I'm not sure what I'll do the rest of the day Uncle Rick stayed out there he's gonna try and get some more of the summer fallow ground disc up get the weeds killed out of it Jeremy Said he's gonna work around somewhere. I'm not sure where he's at. So after lunch, I might have to go find him and see if we can get some action, some action shots of that Harrow going. But all right, I'm gonna go pick Marcy up. We're gonna go get some lunch. So I'll talk to you guys later. he lets that little wheel down and it drives on that big wheel and pushes the fertilizer out look out it's gonna flip he turns that PTO on it'll really fling it'll really fling the fertilizer around getting his GPS set up now truck out. You don't get stuck. He did say, let's go see if I can get stuck. Yeah. Okay, tell them where we're at and what we're doing. We're at Dell's field. Dell's big field. Doing what? Spreading fertilizer. Yep. Hello. Yeah, he I'm worked this. He worked this this morning while me and Rick were out to Blue Creek. Now we've let it dry for a few hours. He's spreading fertilizer. And then he'll come back in a little bit and work it in after he gets the fertilizer done. What? 
Nothing. He's behind that pool over there. You can kind of see him. <laughs> you miss recording, don't you? Now that you're back in school. Yeah, so he's putting this fertilizer down. These little white pellets you can see. I'm not sure why he decided to put dry fertilizer on and not liquid. I don't know if this stuff's cheaper this fall or what, but usually we spray, or he sprays fertilizer on everything. But just for future generations, I don't think I got any pictures of it but this is the field that we plowed because we had a big hole up next to the ditch so we threw it that way and then Aiden tromped it and he went in a half circle almost at the very end well pretty much through the whole thing it was crookeder than crooked this was how it was so he started off straight and then Yeah, it was pretty crooked. He took a lot of crap for it, but it's covered up now. You can't see the tracks anymore. But you should have took a picture to add in the video. I know. I should have got some video of it while we were watering it too. This field did not water worth a crap. And we didn't even have to water it. I know, and then we got an inch and a half of rain or more. So we didn't even need to water it. But you're in the um, penetrate zone. Yeah, but he's got it quite a while before he gets down here. He's probably only got to go maybe up and down and back up here and then he'll probably be done. Uh. cleans them out of there pretty good, doesn't it? And you know what? For that GPS being 16 years old, it's keeping him pretty straight. I said that GPS is keeping him pretty straight. When he turned it on, it said it 2007 model. I'm surprised it picked up any satellites. I got fertilizer in my beard. All right, let's head back to the truck. He's just about done. Morning, everybody. We're triple Kaying this morning. Out here working this big field of grandpa's. Got the old triple K going. Digger. 
loosening this up, trying to get it to dry out, and then Jeremy will spread fertilizer on it. We'll work it again, then get it planted. Got the GPS set up. So I don't even have to drive. I can sit here and then make the corners on the end. It's pretty nice. Because I can never drive straight. I was about as crooked as what Aiden used to drive when I would drive them. But we're going. We gotta get this done. They got another storm coming in this weekend. We wanna get this loosened up so it'll dry out. Maybe we can get it planted before that rain comes in. Or maybe we'll wait till after so it don't crust under. Jeremy's getting our rotary hoe hooked up. We gotta bust some crust on some grain over here by my house. It's crusted under, doesn't want to poke through. If we'd have had it planted one day earlier, we'd have probably been all right. But it is what it is. This is probably my favorite piece of equipment to run on the farm. When I'm driving tractors, my favorite tractor to drive is the 8420. It's got good power. It's just fun to drive, especially with these triples on it. It makes it really wide going down the road. You get to scare the crap out of people. It's just fun watching this thing turn the ground under. Getting it ready to plant. Oh, it just smooths everything out. It's really nice. Goes right over the dikes and tears them out. Jeremy over there in the case, get him hooking up a disc to move it out of the way so we can get the rotary hoe out. But this field's still pretty muddy here in the bottom. I'm not sinking any, but it's pretty dang muddy. So yeah, it's good to get it loosened up, start getting it drying out. We're just gonna go round and round. We got that field worked we didn't do the ends because he'll do them when he fertilizes it and reworks it but we got all the wet spots all loosened up and dug up got pretty wet the further north we went on that field but I think it worked up pretty good just out here looking at this job that Jeremy's doing with the rotary hoe just breaking the crust up so this grain can start pushing through. Doesn't look like it's tearing too much out. Yeah, see right here you can see that piece of grain was stuck underneath the crust, turning yellow. Same with those. It's not a very hard crust, but just enough that this grain doesn't want to push through it. So you can either do what he's doing with the rotary hoe or you can fill up your drill a little bit and go back through and re-drill it. 
I don't know which way's better. This way doesn't look too bad. He's busting this crust up pretty good. That rain would have held off one more day or we'd have had this planted a day earlier. We'd have been fine, but. I wonder where Uncle Rick's at. He must have went back out west to disc some more. He's over here just putting along this little tractor. I wonder what he's gonna have me do now. If he'll have me go to another field or what we'll do, but sit here and watch him go around and around for a minute. Breaking up this crust. So this is why he's going over this. We got big patches like this right here where there's no grain coming up. Cause there's just a little bit of a hard crust on it. You break the crust up and the grain's right there. But it just doesn't want to push through. It just doesn't have enough strength or energy. So pop this crust. And this grain will start pushing through. It's supposed to be mid-70s to 80s to low 80 the next two or three days. And then the storm's supposed to come in. So we want to get this broke up so this grain can hurry and get up again before it rains. But it is what it is. What do you do? You can't fight Mother Nature. So we'll let him finish and then see what he's got for the rest of the day. Well, we're on to the next field. Working Davies. Or I guess you can call it Jack's now. This is the one my father-in-law bought. But it is plenty muddy. Maybe almost too muddy to be working, but Jeremy fertilized this before that big rainstorm. So we want to try and get it work and get it drying out so we can get it planted before the fertilizers wash too far down in. For as muddy as it is, it's not working up too bad. So we'll get this work once and then go back to the shop. We're gonna have to let it set for a while to dry out. It might have to sit till tomorrow morning before they can work it again. But we're moving. He's going spreading. He's going to spread this field of grandpa's that we worked this morning. I don't know if it's quite dry enough to work again or not, but get it done. And then he's filling the sprayer up. I guess he's got to go spray some stuff for Brett, for our neighbor. Just talking to him, asked him why he's going dry fertilizer instead of liquid this fall. He said it's a lot cheaper for the dry stuff, so. 
save us a little bit of money. that wheel down and that wheel will drive that belt and then the PTO drives that spinner and as he goes that belt will bring the fertilizer out drop it onto that spinner and spread the fertilizer out then that gate on the back is how you control how much you want on there Yeah, it sounds like this dry fertilizer is a lot cheaper than the liquid, so yeah. it takes a little bit longer to spread it out, but it's going to save us some money. It saves us some money, so. We'll let him fertilize that and then see if he wants it worked here in a little bit. All right, well, we're working grandpa's down again for the second time. Jeremy got it fertilized. So we'll get this work down again, then it'll be ready to drill. I'm pretty sure it's triticale that's going in here. I think that's what was in here this year. Same variety. So we're getting through them today. We'll get this one done. Jeremy just left with the sprayer. He's gonna go spray. Grandpa Al is gonna go pick Ethan up. He'll be home from school here in about 10, 15 minutes. And then he'll come ride, hopefully ride with me. And maybe we can get him on film again a little bit more. Well, we got that one done ready to be drilled now Ethan showed up he didn't want to do any filming he just sat in the cab with me and played games on my phone and killed my battery but we're gonna call it quits a little early tonight Ethan's got a church activity they're gonna go swimming so I gotta take him to that but yeah so we're just going to go over here to Grandma's and see if they can get him off the school bus Thursday because both Jesse and I will be at work. So I think we're going to call it a day for today. We'll call that a video.